The cage top should either be opened or removed carefully to avoid excessive disturbance to the animals. The rat should be allowed sufficient time to become aware of your presence. The first rat to be injected should then be restrained smoothly, without hesitation, by grasping it around its shoulders. The rat should then be lifted from the floor of its cage onto your arm or onto the cage lid. If the animal is very active, then it can be restrained by holding the base of its tail before picking it up around its shoulders. It can then be held resting against your chest or arm while maintaining a gentle grasp around its shoulders and with its hindquarters supported. The cage lid may need to be replaced to avoid the other animals climbing out of the cage. Two methods of subcutaneous injection will be demonstrated. To inject into the flank, adjust your grip around the rat's shoulders so that your thumb and forefinger push one or both of the rat's legs forwards and support and restrain the rat by holding its hindquarters using your other hand. An assistant who will carry out the injection tense the loose skin on the flank overlying the lower part of the back and abdomen. The injection is made under this loose skin, directing the needle into the base of the tented skin so that inadvertent injury to your fingers with the needle is avoided. An alternative approach is to inject into the loose skin overlying the neck. The rat is grasped around the shoulders and chest and the loose skin overlying this area is tented. Once again, the needle should be directed into the base of the tented skin so that inadvertent injury to your fingers with the needle is avoided. The needle is then withdrawn and the rat placed back into its cage and released. Prior to release, it may be identified, for example with a tail mark, to confirm that the injection has been administered. When releasing the rat, maintain a secure grip until its feet have made contact with the cage floor, then gently release it.